to that guy, but he's a lot of fun and he keeps us laughing all the time. He's the only male. He treats us, he takes care of us, he protects us. When we go out together, he is like our bodyguard. He is, he's absolutely wonderful, but he is as funny as he is on stage, not to take away that. He's hysterical on stage. He's funnier backstage. A straight man with all these hot ladies, because that's the first thing you get. It's the first thing I hear when I come out, oh, I think that guy's gay. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> First getting kicked out of class a lot, you know, being the class clown, but um, it was all sports. Louisville, Kentucky, it's all basketball or football. Um, it was just, um, the goal was basically a sports scholarship, that type of a thing, uh, either track. I was pretty fast. Elvis Presley. Yes. What does it need to Elvis Presley? He needs the lips, the hips, and the legs. Start with the lips. Once you get that down, get the hips. Once you get that, get the legs. Put it all together. Uh. Thank you very much for me, Chocolate Elvis. And he's talented. He does everything. Sings, dances, acts, comedian. He does everything. So he just keeps us going. Then I went to uh, an art school in um, middle school. I say from the ninth grade on. Yeah, we just took um, all the classes, vocal, acting, dance class. It was a little, um, I guess you would say, like a little fame school, like the TV show Fame. It was a great little school. Um, on a cruise line and the um, sound went out one night and they were we need someone to waste some time we need someone to waste some time and at the time I was just dancing and you know throughout the show and I grabbed the mic and ran out on stage started speaking and talking and telling my personal jokes and family jokes and things like that and it was uh, a great experience and from there on, from that night okay you're on with that it was great it was the best it was the best yeah and that was maybe I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago. I'm gonna dance! No. <laughs> um, it was kind of like, what? You gonna do what? I mean, I'd be a performer, and they're like, you're not gay. And I'm like, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a throwback, because it was, you know, 17, mom, I'm gone. You know, I'm leaving the house, headed to Texas, and that's sort of how I started doing every theater, every little hole in the wall, every everything, anything I could find to perform in. So that's sort of kind of started everything from dancing to singing to hosting to, A lot of, lot of fear involved, a lot of taking chances, a lot of up and downs. You know, I've been um, homeless a few times. Who can take the sunrise? Sprinkle it with dew. Cover it with chocolate and a miracle or two. The candy man. Scary, isn't it? 
One good moment is on the cruise ships. I met um, Arthur Duncan. I thought that was for, especially for my impersonations uh, with Sammy Davis, my Sammy Bep, you know. Um, to meet Arthur Duncan, that was a good friend of Sammy's, and for him to tell me that I was dead on and on, you know, doing it well, and you know, so that, that was a good moment. And then finally meeting the, um, the family of James Brown. So yeah, so yeah, I got you. Um, scary. That was the first time I was really sort of nervous, sweaty palms and nervous to come out and to turn around and, huh! you know, it was, it was, it was, because I didn't know how the audience was going to take it, if they was going to just bring them down, because I, I didn't want to bring anyone down, but it was great to hear them enjoy it, to remember, and that's my, my tribute. I don't feel good. Like I thought Jane Brown would, huh? Oh, I would love to do my, my one-man one man act, my one-man show. Um, actually, but I would love to involve some girls in it because now that I have this sort of thing with this show, I'd love to do my own show. And my dream is to, and, and I, HBO special, gotta, I have, you know, that's always just been one of those things that I just, you know, want to do. You know, just, you know, just stuff like that. And of course, my Sammy, babe, you know, it's wonderful. I have to do that. And how I figured out Sammy was from the cartoon Marvin the Martian. Remember that, you know? I was shooting with my 6.3 modulator gun and just happened to be sick one day and dropped a couple of octaves. I was shooting, I was shooting with my six. Easy. I really admire Sean beyond description. Sean has uh, so much talent and so much soul and spirit, and he's a character, and there's really nothing that Sean can't do. Great. That's the best job, best boss ever. Yeah, that's yeah, great. We've been together for a while, for a long time, and it's been a good thing, great thing. And every time, step up, step further, another reach. She always challenges me. She always, you think you could do that? Uh, well, let's see. You know, <laughs> that's, a, that's our way. And yeah, she's made me grow to an artist that you see today, and it's a great thing. I appreciate her, she's awesome. But now, I don't know, it's like, I, I get a rise out of every night. It's like, I got a cool gig. I have a cool gig, and yeah, you can't, you can't beat it. It's, I'm, you know, one step from Hefner, you know. So that's a great thing, you know. I'm the chocolate half. Put it that way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.